do nothing about it. Good evening, good evening. And at this time, we're going to have the invocation by Reverend Belinda Todd, who is a chaplain here at John Randolph Medical Center. Is she here? Well, that's okay, because we got 26 chaplains here, <laughs> so we're okay. So I'm going to ask Chaplain Yoli Massenbird to come and do our invocations. If you are able to, if you will, just stand to your feet. Every eye closed and every head bowed. Spirit of the living God, we bless you and magnify your holy name. We thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy, God. We thank you for your tender, loving kindness. We invoke your presence here tonight, God. May what we do here before you add glory to you, God. And that somebody's heart may be turned towards you. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for your precious, your, your precious son, whom you sent down to die for us. Oh, Lord, we plan to shake the doorpost of heaven tonight with what we're doing here, God, and we ask that you bless each participant, God. Give them grace and give them favor tonight that they move, God. Thank you, Chaplain Massenbird, for that beautiful, beautiful prayer. And at this time, it's one thing about pastors and preachers. We love music, don't we? Yeah. We love music. And at this time, we're going to be honored by Reverend Loretta Beecham. Thank you.
graceful. Well, well. Your grace is in our midst, and as we are about to celebrate more of your grace with the good food that you provided, we continue to extol you and exalt you and thank you for the presence of grace, your presence of glory. And we pray that that will continue to be in our midst and our fellowship and through each discipline recognized here tonight that your grace will continue to be a part of their lives. And the healing that comes through this hospital will continue holistically in every discipline as you have gifted people to be part of your healing process. Bless us, O oh Lord, as we love you tonight and as we thank you for the food and fellowship. And I pray in Jesus' name. as well as this community. She works countless hours, and she is available 24-7. There is no task that she is not willing to do to support chaplain services, nursing services, administrative services, and ancillary department services. So thank you so much. And then I would just like to thank Mr. Tucker, and I'm going to have him stand up, because it is truly a sacrifice when you support and allow your spouse to give up their time to do what they're passionate about doing. So we thank you, and we love you as well. No amount of money that we could give you that could reward you enough for what you do, but we would just like to take this time to present you with a certificate as well as a small token of our appreciation for your uh, willingness to serve. Thank you. Thank you for your Danny Tucker has been with us for 20 years. Right. Teamwork definitely makes the dream work. <laughs> Thank you so much, and please, let's all give our chaplains the largest round of applause. Johnson, I help uh, Captain Taylor with the uh, police chaplain. All right. All of the pastors, and uh, I'm just so happy that you took the time to come out tonight and honor our chaplains. Because I want to tell you something about chaplains. It takes a special person to be a chaplain, especially a hospital chaplain. And these men and women get up two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning and come. They allow me to be able to do what I need to do at my church. They don't let me work on weekends. Now y'all ought to give them a hand. <laughs> and there's something, I don't know if you all know, but I'm pastoring now. 
And I learned, I learned real quick, you better say something about that church. And I am so happy that my church could come tonight. And, I, and I'm going to be a little selfish. Will you all stand up loving Union Baptist Church?
But if he's not, I'll see you in heaven.